And the Kaduna State Government has commenced training for 7,000 recruits for the Kaduna Vigilance Service. The recruits will collaborate with federal security agencies to combat some security and criminality in the communities. Lupe Asong reports. In a bid to enhance security in Kaduna State, authorities have initiated the training of 7,000 youths selected from all 23 local councils. The youths are set to join the Kaduna Vigilante Service, a move aimed to bolster the state's security infrastructure. Despite improvements in security, certain communities still face attacks. The governor is actively addressing these challenges through the recruitment of these 7,000 individuals into CADVIS. Once they successfully complete their training, these recruits will collaborate with federal security agencies to combat criminal elements and safeguard local communities. So I'm happy with also giving jobs to our very energetic men and women. Our Kaduna Vigilance Service will also play a key role in terms of giving them the intelligence they need, as well as increasing uh, the number of boots on ground. Because, uh, like I said, the Commissioner of Police is very supportive, the DSS is very supportive, uh, the Army are very supportive, as well as the Navy. So they are going to work with them, and we we'll make sure that they work in line with our laws of the land. All the arrangements have been made, and we are assuring you, sir, that throughout the weeks that are going to spend here, we are going to do what we are expected to do, and we are going to get the result at the appropriate time. Thank you very much, sir. Elsewhere, the governor is seeking to improve rural urban connectivity, which will benefit at least 30 villages. He launched a 21.7 kilometer Anchao Gada Pala Road project in Kubao and in Kara local government areas. And the reason why we have decided to quickly start the construction of this road is simply because it will revitalize the economies of the rural areas, particularly those 32 villages that are within this community. So at the end of the day, between Kubo local governments and Ikara local government, we are planning to construct 52 kilometer roads within our communities. With an expected completion period of 12 months, it reflects the government's commitment to improving infrastructure and stimulating economic developments in the region. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Kaduna.